Yo man, hey man, say man. It's your boy Fresh Dex back again with another banger, 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 banger. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, bro. It's gonna be lit regardless. So make sure to get my likes up and get my views up regardless. You feel me? No cap, no cap. Soon to be monetized, soon to be famous YouTuber. Let's get into it. Anyways, y'all boys already read the title of this video. This video was highly requested by some individuals in the comment section down below. I listen to all my subscribers out there, bro. You feel me? You send some requests out there, bro. I try my best to deliver the best of my ability. But anyways, y'all boys already read the title of this video. Today's video, I'm going to try my best to pronounce this man's name. Uh, but his name is L.A. Capone, something like that. You feel me? I'm just going to call him L.A. for the rest of the video. Uh, so anyways, um, I was trying to do a little research on him. And it kind of turns out that he passed. So R.P. my boy. He actually uh, passed at 17. That's really sad. He was uh, still a teenager. Never, never really listened to his music at all, uh, to be honest with you guys. And never heard of this guy, but... He has dreadlocks, you feel me? No cap, no cap. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, checking out this man dreadlocks. So, for this video, it's going to be a little different just because we're going to stay on Google because there's a lot of fan pages with terrible um, pictures. So, we're just going to stay on Google like you guys see now. We're just going to observe how his dreadlocks are looking. So, starting off with this picture right here, bro. Um, it's low-key kind of pixelated. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all boys. It's not as clear. I don't know if you guys seeing it as well. Um, or as good. But from a distance away, it looking like his dreadlocks are pretty basic. Like one of them basic uh, type of traditional look dreadlocks. Kind of remind me of uh, Chief Keef in a way, to be honest with you guys. And having a basic look when it comes to dreadlocks is definitely not a bad thing uh it's just more of the like the traditional set because a lot of people prefer to have the semi free form the free form dreadlocks because it adds more versatility and you don't blend in as much but you know i'm i really like the traditional set dreadlocks but i'm more of a bigger fan of uh semi free form dreadlocks in my opinion but my boy la dreadlocks are coming out dope as well um it looks like his tips are pl pretty blunted you feel me so is there any more pictures in the mix boy look at this man head bro yo all right so anyways um check out this real quick all right it's really far away hold on need to be more specific on google real quick there we go that is not him no it's not him oh hold up okay the beginning stages as you guys can see this picture is a little dark but this is my boy through the beginning stages i am not sure what uh dreadlock method he is choosing to start off his dreadlock journey because this picture is so dark he probably going with two strand twists or maybe comb coils because that's the most that's popular Oh, y'all boys remember um, boot game, fake dreadlocks. That joke crazy. But yeah, his uh, dreadlocks LA is definitely reminding me of my boy Chief Keith. Very maintained, as you guys can see, blunted on the tips. It's basically coming out to be very traditional and very uniform. As you guys can see from this gift right here, bro, his dreadlocks are going hard, most definitely. But all right, so... It doesn't really look like my boy maintaining it to the scalp as much, though. But you guys can see that his uh, tips are very blunted. And his dreadlocks are looking very cylindrical, as you guys can see. And, yeah, he has some of them uh, bleached just a little bit on the tip area. So, it's coming out to be a unique look. Uh, over time, I guess he didn't really want to bleach his dreadlocks. So, he was just like, I'm just going to dip it a little bit and just, you know, it is what it is. You feel me? All right, so anyways, let me go back to the other picture. All right, so this picture right here, it looks like his dreadlocks are looking a little thin. He's probably getting a little bit of too much retwist, judging from this picture right here. It's one of the YouTube videos. Okay, okay. 
on um, this picture right here you can see a little lumps here and there he's probably he probably sped up the process of him uh, getting drill locks using the crochet needle the crochet needle leads a little bit of like lumps or whatever in your hair well it all depends on how good you are at using the crochet needle but i could be wrong that could not be um effect of the crochet needle on his hair he could have not even use that at all because I only see one light lock in front of his head on his forehead basically that has a lump there so I could be wrong to be honest with y'all boys uh but anyways it could be like uh one of those permanent bin dreadlocks that can happen too if you have your hair braided for so long and basically a lot of rappers nowadays they do that whole little two strand twist for like years pretty much because they always have a two strand twist and then as soon as they take it out of two strand twist they wet it so it won't have that curly look but sometimes the drill lock can still be bent so ultimately it'd be a bent drill lock but you guys are gonna look at it from a distance away and just think it's just curly but that's kind of like how that drill lock in the front is looking still watching the video y'all the real one no cap Make sure you subscribe, like the video. All right, so this is one of his fan pages. Not dealing with his dreadlocks at all. Uh, a lot of video clips. Um, see, that's what I'm talking about, man. Everybody editing his pictures. All right. Okay, okay, this is a good one right here, bro. All right, so due time, I guess, like, he um, started off with not maintaining his hair as much. And then he started getting a little more retwist, so it got you know a little skinnier. So, but it still still looks like it's mostly traditional, and it looks like he allowing his hair to like semi free form on the scalp because I'm not seeing him get any fresh fresh retwist on the scalp at all. He's just allowing the scalp just to be like it's gonna be. He probably uh was tender headed or something like that. He didn't want like retwist all the time. But yeah, he definitely has a dope set of drill locks. Um, it's not nothing too much to say because they pretty traditional. It's, you know, they pretty standard. That is the most blurriest picture ever. Um, yeah, they very traditional, very standard. Definitely uh, Chief Keef like. Uh, definitely um, symbolize, you know, that uh, drill lock look when someone be like, yo, man, I'm trying to get some... Uh, traditional dreadlocks or um when you think of the idea of dreadlocks you imagine them looking like this that this dude right here with the long dreadlocks you feel me no cap and that's how you will usually end up seeing them that's why a lot of people prefer like semi freeform dreadlocks and not trying to blend in with the crowd or they'll go with this look and decide to bleach it just so it can look different because at the end of the day guys dreadlocks are dreadlocks is only so much you can do to it to just change the whole image of how your dreadlocks is gonna come out. Ooh, but there's always different types of dreadlocks out there, so you always see some versatility. So that's what I love about dreadlocks as well. But when it comes to just doing the whole traditional wave, you know, it is what it is. It's gonna look the way it's gonna look, unless you go with, um, basically uh maintaining your hair and everything and not uh maintaining the tips of your dreadlocks and allowing it just to be curly and be natural uh it's kind of odd look to me in my opinion but i've seen some girls doing that by the way and they've been rocking it uh, i'm not sure about no dudes though you know what i'm saying um anyways uh focus on my boy la you can see on the front of his head, you feel me? He got a lot of length, no cap. I ain't a lot of y'all boys that stopped at his nose before he passed, you feel me? RP my boy. And some of the dreadlocks on the shaft part on this image in particular is looking skinny and then thick. You know, it's very cylindrical, like still, but it has like lumps from here and there. So I guess that's just, you know, the way, it's whichever way he was maintaining his hair uh that's how he got those results um okay i see my boy start rocking the hats with the uh dreadlocks as well 
uh, dope look with the dreadlocks. Um, I just don't advise you guys to wear, uh, you know, hats all the time with the dreadlocks. You know, they low key. You can pull back your uh, hairline. You feel me? Um, I guess it just depends on what you're doing. And at the end of the day, your scalp just needs oxygen, bro. Like, don't wear a hat every day, bro. From time to time, is good. And a lot of you guys need to prevent yourself from uh, putting so much lint in your hair because you have a head on or some sweater on, whatever you have going on. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can't avoid lint buildup, bro. That's just how it is. The only way you can really avoid it is bleaching your hair you bleach your hair you can't really notice it too much but my boy length bro is still at the same length no cap no cap it just grew to his nose it can't really came out dope um it's sad to see uh well here that he passed um i feel like his uh dreadlock journey was going great no cap this is more the beginning stages that right here as you guys can see um yeah he was definitely rocking the basically semi freeform route that's basically the route he went throughout um his uh dreadlock journey and then it seems like he just went the maintenance route and he just keep going back and forth with semi freeform to uh semi freeform the traditional route over and over again that's what a lot of people do and that can also thicken up your dreadlocks as well wait once a month to retwist your dreadlocks and you should be fine um but anyways that being said guys it's not too much else i can really say about my boy la uh dreadlocks but i feel like they came out dope very traditional um set of dreadlocks you know aka basic type of dreadlocks so anyways that being said make sure to comment like subscribe all that fun stuff bro um if y'all really listen to his music you know what i'm saying let me know something in the comment section down below uh or if y'all even knew him let me know something in the comment section down below and i'm gonna see y'all boys on the next vid all right peace hold on guys don't click off the video before i end this a banger um i'm gonna review one of you guys dreadlocks y'all sent me in the dms no cap no cap and this person you know what i'm saying this is uh this one of the my day ones you feel me my day ones to my youtube channel no cap this man shouted me out when i had about 50 60 something subscribers bro he a loyal one he a real one on me you feel me all right all right bet it's my boy evans shout out to my boy evans bro he sent me some of his dreadlocks so we about to go ahead and take a look at these real quick you feel me if you are watching the um, video, Evans, you feel me? Shout out to you, bro. All right. So anyways, this is his Instagram right here. Shout out to my boy, Evans. He got 391 followers. Make sure to follow my boy. He got a dope set of dreadlocks. No cap, no cap. This is one of the pictures I actually seen of him at first. I wasn't quite sure if he was trying to get dreadlocks or not, but he was rocking the high top fade like your boy, Fresh Dex. You feel me? But in this picture right here, he looking a little more fresh than me because I still need my hair cut on the sides. No cap. Um, but anyways, you guys can see the little foundation that was going on, on the top of his head. It looked like he sponged it just a little bit. And then um, a lot of his hair just got like really frizzy over time. And he just allowed it to be like it's going to be. You feel me? He wasn't messing with it too much. Not too heavy because the section is not developing all the way. Just a little something, something. All right. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? These are beginning stages, bro. Look at that. Foundation really starting right now. A little separation, you see. Rocking the high top fade. You know what I'm saying? No cap, no cap. Um, I didn't know he had all these pictures up here, bro. All right. My boy was a big fan of X, too. You know what I'm saying? RP, my boy X. No cap, no cap. All right. So, I'm going to scroll back up. Got random pictures up here, B. All right. All right. All right. What's the next picture? All right. Some more development development in the locking stages bro 
no cap trying to get my words together so i can be incredibly accurate do the video with precise accuracy you feel me on me making buku videos after buku videos y'all boy it's better like this video up no cap but anyways you can see my boy dreadlocks are definitely locking up at this point very blunted at the tips and his dreadlocks actually look kind of thick too as well and i have a lot of y'all boys so i believe he had, um achieved this look uh based off of you know, not getting way too many retoys. That's ultimately how you can get thicker drill likes. To be honest with y'all boys, doing uh, retwists once a month. I'll definitely recommend that. But if you're starting off your drill lock journey, you can do the two times a week, whatever, etc. But once your drill locks start locking up, do the uh, retwist once a week. But anyways, let's move on to another picture, guys. So these some of the pictures right here. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of frizzy. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's still locked up on the tips as well. I believe my boys, um, I believe he using the crochet needle to be honest with y'all because his, uh, tips of his dreadlocks got it blunted up and it looks like he had his dreadlocks for years in the early stages, like so fast. The development was just way too fast. So I believe he's using the crochet needle just to speed up the process. You can see he rocking some of that dreadlock jewelry. His dreadlocks are turning out dope as well. Um, I'm trying to get me, I'm actually trying to get me a thick set of dreadlocks like his. To be honest with, to be honest with y'all boys, that's what I'm trying to do. All right. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. See my boy rocking on um, the X look. This picture kind of blurry though, but he rocking the two braids back. Dope look overall. Great protected hairstyle as well. You can see him in the distance, you know, his hair still going through the processes of basically just getting long in general. Okay, okay, okay. Feel me it still looks like his hair was still going through the same processes let's see what he sent me in the dms bro let's see the before and after the whole drill lot journey okay 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 let me start from here oh okay he definitely developing that length nicely bro all right so you can see how thick his dreadlocks are coming out um yeah it's definitely looking really awesome it's going to his eyes right now definitely a good manageable length absolutely still blunted on the tips i'm pretty sure he's using the crochet needle because the development of his dreadlock journey is just going way too fast and all his dreadlocks are looking perfect it's definitely lacking a lot of frizz so that's definitely another way i can like tell that he's using the crochet needle because otherwise it'd be frizzy and it will still be going through the developing and maturing process of it locking up naturally. Uh, but yeah, what you're doing, bro, is working. Just keep doing that. And it doesn't look like he's maintaining the roots too much. So he's just allowing his hair to be like it's going to be. Um, bro, so he probably had like 3C type of hair, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe he probably had like 3C type of hair. Or probably 4A. But I'm going more towards uh, 3C, to be honest with y'all boys. And I see sometimes he be rocking the dreadlock jury once in a while. Um, what I have to say about the dreadlock jury, guys. Um, if you want to get into a dreadlock jury, go ahead and do your thing. But I, I advise you guys not to get into the dreadlock jury. Jewelry in the early locking stage. Just because dreadlock jury in the early locking stage um, can basically uh, prevent your dreadlocks from locking up. So it'll take like a longer time for your dreadlocks to lock up over time, or some of your dreadlocks may appear to look disformed, you know, disform a lot of dreadlocks. You don't want that. So in the early stages, don't do the whole dreadlock jewelry thing. Just allow your hair to mature first before getting to the dreadlock jewelry so early. And if you do do it, you know, put in your hair and just take it off, you know, like you would do uh, um, a watch or anything else. Don't stay it in your hair for a long period of time while your dreadlocks are going through the locking process of budding and etc. Okay, guys, moving on to the next picture right here. You can definitely see the length, bro. Length going crazy, B. It's just around the same length 
but it's almost touching his nose at this point. And I'm just impressed of how he uh, he maintained the thickness of his dreadlocks because if, when you have thick dreadlocks, guys, you know, that is the perfect way to maintain your dreadlocks a lot longer because if you have thick, um, thin dreadlocks, you have a risk of your dreadlocks snapping or falling off somehow or snagging on something else and, you know, it's getting pulled out or you twisting it or retwisting it way too much and it's so thin it's gonna break so overall having a thick set of dreadlocks can you know prevent a lot of that stuff from happening you feel me so that's why a lot of people go with wicks but you know they do a little too much but i would like to have a thick set of dreadlocks like my boy here you feel me i feel like this is more reasonable than having wicks or uh pineapple you know like dreadlocks even though that's more unique in its own way i probably might do a dreadlock review on one of those people dreadlocks you feel me just to um you know add some more variety to my youtube channel but anyways uh moving on to the next picture here guys so check out this picture right here okay his hair is pretty much still um going through the same processes and it's not looking too much different right here um, he's still not maintaining the scalp at all. Uh, it's definitely really frizzy on the scalp too. It looks like he has a lot of new growth. So probably if he like actually retwists his hair like to the scalp, he definitely gonna have a lot of uh, growth due time. But when you look really close to his dreadlocks, some of his dreadlocks appear to be kind of skinny and some of them like really thick, but the thick dreadlocks are going over the skinny dreadlocks. So it appears that most of the thick dreadlocks are more uh, visible than the skinny dreadlocks. So, yeah, definitely interesting look, uh, you know, his dreadlock journey over time. Oh, yeah, this is really the beginning stages right here. I believe he started off with the cone coils, I see. Uh, yeah, the cone coils, and it looks like he uh, allowed his hair to freeform over time while it just locked up. And, you know, it probably took a little longer for him to lock up with his hair type. So he probably went in with the crochet needle or maybe he used beeswax. But I hope he didn't use beeswax to speed up the process because that's a lot of buildup. Um, but he may have used any of those like uh, methods just to speed up the dreadlock process because this dreadlock turned out looking pretty much perfect. It's like a lack of frizz and everything compared to this picture right here. This is a lot of frizz, guys. Okay, so moving on to this picture right here. All right, so this is really the early stages of his dreadlock journey. This is the ones he sent me. This one's kind of blurry, but you can see it just grew a couple more inches than what it was at before. I wonder how long his, uh, I don't think he his hair was so long when he started off his dreadlock journey. But I could be wrong, but it looks like these are baby locks, to be honest with y'all boys. So I feel like he started off around five or six inches, maybe something like that. But anyways, this is how his dreadlocks are looking currently. Look at the length, bro. He came from out of nowhere. Come on, V. That's a journey. That's a process right here. He still maintained the thickness. He's still rocking a dreadlock jury. Uh, from here and there, He's, he don't have too many in, in his hair and everything. Um, and he actually going into the bleaching. Uh, yeah, so it came out very dope, bro. I'm definitely impressed about your journey in general. I hope you continue to grow out your dreadlocks. And if I have to give you a word of advice, uh, you know, make sure to still wrap up your hair whenever you get a chance. Make sure you still maintain your dreadlocks and everything with... Uh, castor oil olive oil uh tea tree oil make sure to always mas massage the scalp and go into separating your dreadlocks once you get out of the shower as well if you want to prevent congos at all time possible because once you get lazy with your dreadlocks you're definitely going to develop congos due time your congos are going to be really big uh no cap you know pause um um but anyways <laughs> so so basically, yeah, that's the word of advice. You feel me? No cap, no cap. Um, maybe you should go into retwisting your dreadlocks all the way to the scalp unless you're tender headed because I see 
you still rocking the semi freeform dreadlock look. I'm trying to see how much length you're going to achieve once you uh, retwist your dreadlocks all the way to the scalp. But it looks like you have an, you know, a lot of length so far, though. Like it's above his eyes going towards his, yeah, almost towards his mouth if you, like, really stretch out his hair. Um, it'd be interesting if he did have a YouTube channel or anything like that, just updating us on his uh, dreadlock process and everything. But my guy, um, you know, saying I, you know, I should do a updated video on you. No cap, no cap on your dreadlock journey. You know what I'm saying? You feel like updating me. Um, I, this goes out to all my subscribers, you know, that sent me their dreadlocks beforehand. If you want to send me your dreadlocks again, you know, due time, couple months, couple years down the line, whatever, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, send me y'all dreadlocks again. I want to update everyone in the dreadlock community, the whole dreadlock transformation, and what you guys are coming from. But anyways, that being said, my guy, you have some fresh, dope dreadlocks. Um, it actually, how I want to really get my dreadlocks, to be honest with you. So shout out to my boy Evans. Uh, a, you know what I'm saying? My day one subscriber on me, 50 to 60 subscribers. My man gave me a whole shout out. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to that um, picture real quick. He gave me a whole shout out because he said my videos were fire on me. Look at me. I didn't even have 50 to 60. I had 23 subscribers, be 28 videos just starting off. You know what I'm saying? From the bottom. You feel me? No cap, you know what I'm saying? My views was trash. On me, they were baloney. They was garbage. But he still gave me a shout out. I was like, who is this? You feel me? But shout out to you, bro. Your dreadlocks came out dope. Um, I'm glad you uh, continue to communicate with me. And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. But anyways, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now and start talking. You feel me? Because I be talking too much. I'm not even talking too much to get monetized. You know what I'm saying? I need to quit it. You feel me? But y'all still watch the video anyway. And I'm going to see y'all boys in the next video. Send some requests down below. DM me your locks, etc., etc. All right, I'm out.